In this video we'll discuss how the eLearning Authoring tool lets you set the completion status for the course. Um, as an author you frequently want to decide what does the learner have to do to complete a course. In some courses uh, maybe they don't have to do much of anything. Maybe other courses you want them to visit every page. Uh, maybe in other course you want them to pass uh, two or three quizzes. Um, maybe in another course you'd like them to uh, pass two quizzes and uh, complete a final exam. Uh, so those are all different kinds of completion criteria. So let's take a look at how the uh, e-learning authoring tool handles completion criteria. So what I'll do for a demonstration is I'll add some pages to a sample course and uh, let's uh, give those pages some names. We could use any sort of names for these pages. Um, here I'm calling the first one tutorial 1 and then tutorial 2. Just imagine that those are different pages within a tutorial of your course. Now let's call that uh, this one quiz one. Let's imagine we have a course with uh, two quizzes. So we'll create a second quiz and uh, then finally let's imagine that we have a course that has a final, final test. So now of course a real course is going to have lots more pages but I just wanted to create a simple sample to show you about course completion. So as the author you want to decide, okay, what does the learner have to do to complete a course? And you do that by clicking on each page and then deciding what the learner has to do on that page. Now for information type pages, you can decide whether or not the learner has to click on this page, meaning visiting the page, uh, to complete the course. Uh, so the default choice is no, the learner doesn't have to uh, visit this page. And you could also decide to say yes, the learner must visit the page. So let's say the learner doesn't have to visit tutorial page one, but you decide that the learner has to visit uh, tutorial page two. Uh, notice that what you see in the eLearning Authoring tool is a V suddenly appears uh, on that icon, so you can easily see which pages are, uh, have uh, a completion criteria set. On the third page, well that's a quiz. Let's change its type to a quiz. And maybe you decided that um, the learner has to complete the quiz. So what complete means is you have to answer all the questions, uh, but you don't have to get a passing score. You just have to complete the quiz. So let's say a learner has to complete uh, both of the quizzes and the tests. And then for the final test, maybe you'd like to uh, make sure that the learner has to pass the test and maybe set some sort of passing score, like say 80%. Um, so we've created a course where the learner doesn't have to visit the first page, uh, must, have to, must visit tutorial two, has to complete the quizzes, and has to pass the final test. Um, so as an author, you can use any combination of visiting, completion, and passing to decide what the learner has to do within that, uh, within that course. I'll save it and uh, launch it. And so what the learner sees is all of the pages in the course, and if the learner clicks on the progress window, uh, the progress window tells the learner uh, what he or she needs to do to complete the course. Has to visit one page, has to complete a couple pages, has to pass a page. And here's that completion status of all those individual pages. Um, in this case, all of the pages haven't been attempted yet. Uh, say for instance, I go in and uh, click on uh, tutorial 2. Well, just clicking on it, just visiting it, makes that complete. And I can see that uh, uh, now that I visited that, that portion of, uh, of the course is now complete. So with very little effort, uh, you can use the e-learning authoring tool and decide what the learner has to do to complete a course. Um, kind of related to course completion is also navigation. Uh, so for instance, uh, when you create a course, normally it's freeform navigation, meaning that the learner can click on any page in the course. But um, you may want to decide, um, maybe I want to force uh, users to visit every single page in the course. Here, I'll make those quick changes and um, you want to have some navigation restrictions. So for instance, um, does this page affect navigation to follow on pages? And you could say yes, the learner must visit this page before navigating further in the course. And maybe you want to make, make some more of those settings as well. And so in this kind of course, um, you're going to force the learner into a lockstep navigation of the course. The learner has to go uh, to tutorial one, followed by tutorial two, followed by quiz one, followed by quiz two, and so on. You can't jump ahead in this particular course because you have to visit the preceding courses before you can navigate. So for some kind of courses, uh, sometimes legal regulatory kind of courses uh, require you that you have, require the learner has to visit every single page. 
and that's how you go about doing that in the e-learning authoring tool by controlling um, follow-on navigation. So if you'd like to uh, give it a shot yourself, uh, just download the free trial of the authoring tool and uh, try out setting some completion status and some navigation restrictions.